If you've driven anywhere in the Triangle, it's obvious that homelessness is a growing problem. And many of them aren't even from the Tar Heel State. People are coming from New York City by plane, train, bus, and car. Then they're placed in apartments across Central North Carolina. CBS 17's Holden Kerwicki is getting answers in downtown Raleigh. And Holden, did our local leaders know this was happening? Absolutely not. I reached out to multiple members of city council and many local mayors who didn't even want to offer comment because they didn't know anything about this program. However, once these people are here, it's on the local communities to help take care of them. There's no place like home for the holidays, but across the triangle, that's becoming more of a dream than reality. Bali now is on the world stage as a destination for people to move here, for people who have great jobs and people who are looking for jobs. We are growing rapidly. Our incomes here are not keeping pace with the cost of housing. And so for those who would have been able to maintain their housing before, they just can't make ends meet anymore. On any given night, there are roughly a thousand people sleeping on the streets of Wake County. They come from all over the United States. A lot of people uh, that may have started out here with parents 20, 30 years ago sometime come back. According to an investigation by the New York Post, as well as our New York City CBS affiliate, New York City has been secretly sending their homeless families to North Carolina and offering to pay their rent for one year, unknown to their new hometown. Some of the rural cities, I've heard of that before, because they don't, they're not equipped with the, the job situation. And that's been, as we know, most people who grew up in a rural town end up going to the larger city to find a job. You hear stories of, you know, programs in other cities and communities that do things like that. It's not a best practice. It's not something that we would ever want to promote. Regardless of how they got here, Wake County Housing Director Lorena McDowell says there are multiple resources available to help these people get on their feet. If they're here and they're homeless, they're ours. There's a shortage of workers. So we partner with Wake Tech Community College to really get individuals the skills they need for the hot jobs. That's why many groups see homelessness as a temporary situation. Our belief is that each person has sacred value and we want to treat them that way and try to help them get on their feet. I was able to briefly speak with the mayor of Fayetteville earlier today. He says he plans to speak with members of their city council about this situation. And at this time, they're not ruling out taking out legal action against New York City. Live in downtown Raleigh, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News. It's very interesting what's happening, Holden. Thank you. Now, if there's something you want CBS 17 to get answers to, all you have to do is let us know. You can call that number right there, 919-835-NEWS, or you can send an email, newstips at cbs17.com.